What's up, America? I'm Diesel Ross. Thank you for joining me on today's painting excursion. It's going to be an adventure, because today we're going to paint something very beautiful. I like to title it, Home. The first thing you want when you paint is an assortment of paint. Obviously, you're going to want to put colors on that whiteboard. But today, we're going to use this white canvas. I have here Brodozer Yellow, ATF Red, which is encroaching into Redbeard's eyes blue. Not to be mistaken with Redbeard's beard red. We have Diesel Handle Green and Patriot Tire Black. We also have an assortment of mini tools. We have brush number one, wide load brush. We have a medium duty brush for all your medium duty things. You have a Prius brush because it's the smallest, or a Civic or a Rice Rocket. You could say Eco Diesel. Maybe we'll do Eco Diesel brush. Then, maybe John Hancock brush so that you can sign your name at the end or do fine details. Detail brush, let's call it the detail brush. Let's get started, shall we? Now, in home, what do you imagine? I like to imagine rolling green hills. So I'm gonna take my wide load brush. I'm gonna dip it into the green, the diesel green. It goes on smooth. If it's chunky, it's fine. Sometimes it's your first time painting, sometimes it's not. There is no mistakes, only happy accidents. Once you have your wide load brush with a little paint on it, just paint some rolly hills, okay? Just rolling, not too steep, because you know, some people aren't in as good a shape as other people and they don't want to have to climb up big mountains in their paradise, okay? So just rolly hills. Somewhere where you'd have fun in your pickup truck, but nothing that's gonna, you know, if your truck breaks down, you're gonna have to exert yourself physically to climb to the top or back to the bottom for help. So rolly. And just give it a nice little brush like this. See this technique? This is called painting. Yeah, it's a different kind of stroke. Stroking the paintbrush. Rolly Green Hills. Now, what else is in your paradise? What would make those green hills look even more enticing? Shedding some light on it. You're gonna want a sun. So I would take your medium duty brush. Look at your bro dozer yellow. That's most like the sun, correct? Go ahead and get a little bro on your brush. That should be enough. Now, you can put your sun wherever you like. Me, I like to put it right over here to the left. Just a nice circle, nice circle for the sun. Just do circular strokes. This is called circular motion. You can do little rays too. I like to give it a little bit of rays, like it's shining so bright. Let's take a little bit of the blue and put a pond. Take your Eco Diesel brush, dip it into Redbeard's eyes, and this is where I'd put my pond. Let's just technique like so, just outskirt of the pond, and then lightly stroke it, make some waves, so it looks like it's, the waves are just rolling in. It's enticing, you take your kite board out there. This right here could be a nice mud pit area. You wanna take a little bit of the red, ATF red, put it down here. Just smash it over there. Let's try a little bit of Patriot Tire Black mixed with ATF red. Let's see what happens. That's like the red dirts of Moab. It's like a clay mud. And then this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna scoop it with a knife. We're gonna make a mud pit right down the middle. Yep, just like so. Just a nice little mud pit area. A nice mud pit. You know what we should put on the outside of the mud pit? Some happy trees. That's what we should put on there. So clean off your knife. Let's get a little bit of the green again. Okay? And you know what my favorite kind of tree is? The blue spruce. And I don't know if there's actually blue in the blue spruce, but you know what? This is our place. This is our land. So we get to do whatever we want. So we got some blue, we got some diesel green. Looks like a little bit of the mud kind of uh, found its way in here. That's fine, bark. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We want some trees, 
just do a line like this and then do a smaller line and then a smaller line. You see how we did that there? So it looks like just a nice little cone hat. Let's do another one over here. That way you have shelter from the beach. Now this technique we're gonna call trunking because it's when you give the tree a tree trunk. And all you do is come to the base of your tree and do a line. See? Tree trunk. Try it again. Perfect. You know what? Those trees are really happy right now because they're complete. Now let's just do a cloud here. Yep, just as I suspected. It's a little dark for clouds. But it's all right, tut tut, looks like rain. Let's see, oh, you know what's fun? Spaceships. Spaceships are always fun. And spaceships, I believe, are blue. And this is the part that gets important because in paradise there's trucks, okay? Let's start with the tires. Grab your Patriot tire black. And let's just say he's mobbing up this hill. So give him some tires. Yeah, we're gonna make it huge because trucks are big in paradise. Go ahead, just give it, give it some tires. It's a close wheelbase, but that's okay. Nice, give it some knobs. Cause you know, if you're gonna go through the mud pit, you're gonna want some knobbies on there. Now we're gonna outline the whole truck in black. It doesn't have to be a black truck. You can paint your truck whatever color you want because it's your truck in your paradise. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline it in black cause I want the truck to be white. I'm a sucker for white trucks. We're gonna get a windshield, and a hood, and a grill. Yeah, that looks exactly like how I imagined it in my mind. Let's give it some wings. Oh my gosh. Look, now that I do that, the truck kind of reminds me of something. Better. Look at that. With those wings like that, it almost reminds me of the Omega. That's strange. I might just call you the Omega. I mean, you look just like it. It's got his buddy Redbeard there, fishing, mud pits, really green hills. <laughs> this is sci fi. It's not real up there. It's time to label this place. Well, I'm gonna need some more paint. Yeah, see that? That's a little place called Granger. You guys know where Granger is? I'll give you two letters here. That's where the Omega wants to go, and that's where he's going. Now to finish off the picture, you're gonna need your little detail brush again. Now, since I don't know exactly what this person looks like, I'm just gonna paint a body. Yeah, I might've used a little bit too much paint, that's okay. That's a smile, ladies and gentlemen. That's a big, red, lippy smile. If I had white, I'd do teeth, let's just, his head's gonna be kind of big, that's fine. When you have a cool truck like the Omega, you're allowed to have a big head. Oh, that's ironic. Look, those birds almost make it look like his eyes already. And he's smiling big. And of course he's gonna have nice luscious gold locks. Uh, and by yellow, I mean red, you know? Maybe, maybe the paint's trying to tell me something. Maybe they know this guy already. Maybe they know what his hair looks like. Now let's give this guy a name. You want to get some paint on your brush? Everyone's going to want to hold on to their, hold on to their ball caps and hold their breath because it could be your name I'm about to write. Granger, Indiana. You hold a special person whose name is Brian W. E A V E R. Hopefully I spelled that right. Anybody? Brian Weaver, you just won the Omega truck. Congratulations, my friend. I will also give you this masterpiece free of charge. Well, maybe free of charge. I'll decide when you get here. Just go ahead and uh, sign it. Diesel Dave. I mean, Diesel Ross. 
signed. Thank you for joining us on the Happy Painting. Today we gave away the Omega truck to Brian Weaver in Granger, Indiana. Next time it could be you. Just make sure you get entered to win the diesel truck giveaways because I might pin a picture with you in it next time. Until next time, God bless.